because not only do I like him as a person, but I love the way he plays the game and he plays the position. Well, he does have the ball to start the game, and he had an amazing debut the other day. And he gets around the horn. The three is off. Bates with the board. Up top to Mobley. And that's your first box. Well, there's Mike Garrity, Cleveland Summer League head coach. And those are great opportunities here in the Summer League, right? For His confidence kicks in. Like I say, he's got a big personality, and I think he'll be a crowd favorite. Merrill doesn't have an issue making shots. He's going to be a crowd favorite. He will figure it out. Talk to him briefly before the game. He was a little nervous in his first game. And as he shoots it right there, guys, once he sees it go through the net a few times, Chris. You'll be on point all the time. Merrill looking to go two for two. Mobley hitting the glass. The pump fake and the make over two defenders. Dick on the baseline. Grady Dick misses but gets his own board and connects. Victor Winmanyama, his second game of Summer League. Isaiah Mobley, throw it down, why don't you? Seven points here in the first four minutes. Mine about to pull up. He's about to pull up. He raises. He, he, he like, I feel it. He goes baseline. <laughs> you, 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 you can see it in it. Grady Dick has been aggressive here in the first quarter. And he makes the crowd go wild with the jumper over Sam Merrill. He's one of those players that the crowd, for whatever reason, they're going to root for him. Once he gets going. Ooh, the well inside with the right pass to right, right on time. And it seems like, well, they got the answer on their G League team. When you see what he's doing here today, uh, do you think he deserves a shot with the big club? Well, he's going to get a shot. Um, and, and the oh, reason why he'll get a shot, because he has the talent. Porter takes it all the way up the floor, and no one stops him. On the defensive side of the ball, Bernie Bickerstaff. On the offensive side, now you got his son. I mean, this is, you know, basketball royalty. Known for, you know, their tough guard play from a defensive standpoint. And then they develop into offensive players. But he's combined both, defense and offense. The head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers, J.B. Bickerstaff. You know, first and foremost, thank you for taking some time and spending it with us. We see you over there talking to you. The system offensively and defensively, and they're taking on a leadership role here in Summer League. So it's not just about the development on the court. It's an opportunity for them to develop that leadership as well. And the excitement that the sphere has caused, you know, for for the summer league. Ooh. Moses Brown parting the paint. Go ahead, Moses Brown. Whether they trade for it or whether they find it in the draft, you have to give them a lot of credit for what they've been able to do. Harper on the finish. Both men's size, but then their intellect when they handle themselves. Kareem as, you know, an older statesman, dropping wisdom, giving knowledge. Who made the observation about what he did defensively, the five blocks, and his ability to find his team. I, I look at, you know, everyone being challenged all the time by length, size, and jumping ability. Jump over Grady Dick, and he gets it to drop. Mobley bringing it up the floor, finds Porter for the put down. See, when the big guys can do that. High screen to roll, Noel. Inside to right, three seconds. Porter beats the clock, jumps, gets it to drop. Basket, he was 0 for 8 from the field. Amani Bates answers right back, and that's the round with the rebound. And one. The Raptors desperately needed. No, you're going to be like, ah, oh, I forgot to mention him. Mount Matumbo. Oh, yeah. Yes. D with the black belt over Mobley. We talked about this matchup between Cooper and Noel, and both of these guys trying to prove they can do all of the things besides score to stick in the NBA. Merrill for three. But mo most teams... They have two to three good scores already. 
So they're looking for those role players that can defend and stop people from scoring. But if you got a Jay like Merrill. And this team needed outside shooting. Yeah, well, late look at Wop, wop, Right wop, on time, wop, on time. I mean, three, just straight. Three-point range. Straight killer. They're also looking to advance the NBA level. Isaac Barnett has called a singular game at the NBA level. And, you know, that, that, that's an excellent point. And, but what I'm watching and what we're seeing here is good officiating. McCormick flex on him. Over Merrill, kicks it out to Wieskamp. To the left. Travers catches the touchdown pass. Porter, job. And he kicks it out at the last second to Nance. It's almost hit that jumper on the baseline. But I, I want to tell this story about Larry Nance. Larry Nance and Brad Doherty. So we make that, we all on the all-star team together. You know, change motors and everything else. And Brad Doherty is talking about, you know, how he likes to go to, you know, car races. And, and I'm thinking, like, these two great basketball players. Schuler has to get it up. He's off. Raptors on the break. Nimhard. Great conversion. Starters on the floor for the most part for the Raptors. Noel to the bucket. And one. Now within 14 and have some more momentum. Noel. Hogue for three, 11 point game. Kicks it out, a beautiful pass. Creates the open look, but it's too short. Cooper on the break. Bates on the putback. The crossover looking for the call, did not get it. Bates swings it to Nance in the corner. That might be a back. Big man bodying inside McCormick. McCormick out of Kansas. And a strong take. Nance open at the top of the key. Bottom. And to see those two in the building today rooting for each other is great. You know, that's a great point that you make a white connection three-point range with the greats, LeBron James, mm -hmm. and his son, Bronny James, at the Nike Hoop Center. Yes. Now, as they took the court... Changing the game. Before you continue, let's make sure our audience know what we're talking about here, right? So, Carlos Boozer's son, Cameron Boozer, both are ranked very high in their class, but Cam Boozer when the yeah, National Player of the Year is a sophomore mm. um, and is ranked, you know, whatever ranking you look at, one, two, or three, headlined by Cooper Flagg, who had taken over the ranking as the number one player. And there was a, there was a learning experience. Yeah, there. More yeah. But to have a dad like Carlos Boozer. This is what the NBA is all about. And the fans that stuck around to see the end of this one after the Cleveland Cavs.